Hello, we're back again. Over my shoulder you can see the remnants of a bandsaw that I've had for about 28 years. I purchased it in March of 96 and it is a Casca a Model 2B. It's a 16 horse Vanguard, it'll cut uh, a 30, 30 inch log and I have the extension track for it. It'll cut up to a 20 foot long log. Currently I'm restoring it again for well, the second time. Uh, it's, it's a good, good machine. I enjoy using it uh, when it runs. I was on a forum not long ago and just as a side thought and some side information, I noticed somebody was looking for a drive motor for uh, the carriage. It was a forestry forum I was looking at, and I was wanting to, to join that forum so I could leave a post on it. Perhaps they'll see this video. The motors were made by Stature Electric, which is currently under the control of Allied Motion out of Watertown, New York. So if uh, you know anything more about the motor that you have, I was able to take from your picture of that motor, I was able to run a, a Google search and find the company. So um, I hope you can find what you're looking for. Fortunately, my motors are currently working. It's, it's, uh, it's an interesting machine. Uh, they're, uh, they're well built. I had formerly looked at a, a wood miser. I don't know. At the time, uh, there was some question about how stable the uh, cantilevered construction was. In some respects, I'd like to have a wood miser, but uh, I've got this. Uh, this is, uh, it's a good saw. It really is. As we look at it, uh, you can see I've got the engine pulled apart, or the, the shroud off of it. I've cleaned it out, and uh, we put a new battery on it. I had to put on a new ch choke cable this time. Now, uh, this, <laughs> this box here is the control box. I've got the switches out of it. And uh, if we can look around here, I had to pull about five or six wasp nests out of that, uh, which are here on the floor. Uh, they were industrious little boogers. It's got 18 inch wheels on it. As I said, it'll uh, cut up to a 30 inch log. It does well. I've got no complaints with it. I will say though that for those people that think they're going to buy a, a portable bandsaw sawmill and they're going to make a lot of money, you know, you're going to spend a lot of money. You're going to spend a lot of money on blades, on the machine, and what it takes you to cut up material for somebody, few people will pay you what it's worth to have it done. And if you're going to cut just for yourself, that's fine. It's, it's a hobby machine. It's, it's not a production machine. As I said, this is a Casco, the saw, 2B. And uh, this cowling you see here on the floor goes over, over the blade. It does just run on gasoline. It's not a diesel. It uh, has these four... Uh, screws like this on on each corner you can see the chain it goes to a motor down here underneath and it rotates a a roller chain that goes from corner to corner and it turns sprockets on each corner and takes it up and down evenly this is the, the blade tension indicator it's a hydraulic uh, indicator for the tension on the blade. They say to run in the owner's manual to run it at about 500 uh, pounds. Somebody said the other day to run it at 8 to 1,000 pounds and I think you're asking for trouble uh, doing that. Number one, it's not what the manufacturer suggests. I have had never had any difficulty running it at 500 pounds and it uh, it operates just fine at that. This is how you control the tension. You can see that, it's, of course, it doesn't have a blade on it, so it won't let the tension go up that high, but uh, that's how that operates. We have 
indicators as to how much you can how much you're dropping it each time you have a scale here for uh, quarters uh, for uh, for four quarter or for an inch for inch and a quarter for inch and a half and for two inch so that's uh, that's handy you lose about sixteenth of an inch with each cut so part of the selling point was that you would get about twenty percent more lumber out of a log uh, when most of your big mills so the blades take a curve out that's uh, a quarter to three eighths of an inch uh, down here you can see the the drive motor that runs the carriage it runs a roller chain that pulls it back and forth on the track and uh, as I said those are motors built by stature and they are now uh, allied motion out of Watertown New York hope to be able to contact them and get more information about that later so as I go through this I'm going to kind of I'll video you know the work on getting it put back together I'll take it all the way to the point of getting it started and uh, cutting and of course it's winter time so that's going to take a little bit of time if we get some decent weather it'll come that much sooner something else that I noticed that somebody had requested was uh, any information about the machine an owner's manual operator's manual and I have my old original operator's manual uh, I did manage to save that and I'd be happy to scan that into a PDF and uh, share that uh, without any charge I have another manual that I had purchased on eBay uh, quite some time ago but uh, for a different model so if that's of any use to anybody I will uh, be glad to make that available anyway that's the machine a basic look at it uh, the nickel tour so to speak and I uh, hope you'll kind of join us with going through the rest of putting it back together and seeing it run I appreciate your taking the time to watch this and have a nice day and stay warm and healthy